The oldest rock that we have in the Peak District dates to between 360 and 320 million years ago. It's the limestone and you can see it here as this white and grey rock. It's very very characteristic of the Peak District and makes up most of the central plateau, the dry stone walls being a characteristic feature. When this rock was laid down we were part of the continent of Larusha which was lying just south of the equator. If you imagine a scene like the Great Barrier Reef today that's what the Peak District would have looked like, an area of warm shallow tropical lagoons. Within these lagoons was prehistoric life. It was literally teeming with it. And the creatures that you could find there are illustrated on my t-shirt, from brachiopods and anamites to crinoids. And all of these had shells, and the shells were made of calcite. When they died, they drifted to the bottom of the sea, and over time, their shells were compressed to form the rock that we have around us today. It comes as quite an amazement for people to realise that so much rock across the country could have been created from prehistoric creatures. But the most fantastic and impressive thing that these organisms laid down lies just over here. During the Devonian period, which took place during the Carboniferous era, there was a mass extinction. And this extinction wiped out practically all the life in the world's oceans. Now, I've just told you that the limestone rock itself was made out of these ancient sea creatures. But although they disappeared, the rock continued to be laid down. This time, however, the reef mounds themselves were created from primitive algae and bacteria. Now, you may think that such small organisms wouldn't be able to build rock of any great size. But prepare yourself for a surprise. We are on high tour and take a look down there. The colossal face of limestone rises to a fractured 400 foot above the flow of the River Derwent. These prehistoric algae and bacteria created this enormous carbonate reef mount. So big is its size that it's actually altered geological futures. For example, the River Derwent here that now runs in this massive gorge didn't originally follow this path. There's argument at the moment about whether this massive reef mound diverted the flow many millennia ago. Although some people argue that the gigantic face we see here today could have been created by glacial meltwaters over the last few hundred thousand years. Either way, this is one of the most impressive geological sites in the whole of Britain. And I'm not going to fall off. <laughs> yes, you are. Anyone visiting a place like this can't help but be overwhelmed by the ever-present imposing force of rock. The only people brave enough to assault its leviathan walls are the climbers, though thanks to the Victorians, we can get even closer still to the thrusting cliffs. The Victorians really knew how to get close to their geological wonders. Health and safety wouldn't allow this today. It's called Giddy Edge and it was constructed during the mid-1850s by Peter Arkwright, who was the son of Sir Richard Arkwright, and it's part of his massive Victorian pleasure grounds above Matlock Bath. The cliff path continues along this wall of high tour before joining back with the Victorian carriage trails that crisscross Arkwright's old estate. 